Hey guys, Fire Tiger here, and welcome back to a new video. Um, so, the um, balance changes for the possible for the new power update um, have come out, and I think that's really cool. So, I'm just gonna look at them, and I'm gonna discuss how I feel about the um, new changes. So, first up is the panic attack. Um, the panic attack uh, has a 50% surpasser switch speed, more 50% more pellets. 30% less damage and a fixed pattern of shots. Um, I feel like, or, oh, and the shot pattern grows with successful shots. Um, I feel like this is somewhat good because of the fact that, um, that it can be a viable weapon. Um, it's like easier to use. It's faster to switch out and stuff. Um, anyways, next up is the Ambassador, it, um, got, it is getting a nerf, um, Bolt Spread is reduced by 50%, I feel like it's pretty cool because, um, a spy that's really good with the Ambassador is just really annoying. Uh, second off, or, um, next up is Dead Ringer, um, let's see, uh, the Ammo Kits and Dispensers no longer refill the f Spy's Club Meter. I feel like that's a really big nerf, considering that um, the only way that a uh, spy can uh, refill his meter is going back to a ammo closet or just like waiting for it to go up. So it's a huge nerf on its part. Um, your eternal reward um, can now disguise on its own, so that's really cool. Um, the non Kill disguises require a full cloak meter and it will consume it, so I'm guessing um, non kill disguises. Uh, that could possibly mean maybe like if you disguise it consumes up your entire meter. I'm kind of confused, um, but in case uh, Vax based disguises are still free, so uh, yeah. So if you disguise using the Eternal Reward um, without like backstabbing, you will get um, all of your cloaks drained. And speaking of draining, it's reduced by 50%. Uh, the Scout, uh, the Sandman, um, no longer stuns. I think that's really stupid because it's a pretty somewhat original um, thing. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's one of the only. I think it's the only weapon that can actually stun, but and so they can fire their weapons. But that's the whole idea behind the Sandman, the fact that you can stun your um, opponents and like have your team um, help destroy them. Uh, that's a big nerf. Um, Ball regeneration is Kriso. Uh Bonk. Um, uh, you get slowed down um, after you um, after you get hit, but it um, is based on the amount of damage. That um, it's going to be really punishing for uh, a scout that um, tries to absorb damage of a sentry if they're trying to like um, if they're trying to distract the sentry during a, a intel cap. Um, all the way up to 65% if you get over 200, dang. And it only lasts for 5 seconds compared to the 8 seconds, I believe, so that's kinda bad. Um, Revoid's pocket pistol, 15% uh, firing speed, I think that's new. Um, well, obviously. Uh, you get more HP, huh? um, and uh, less clip size. And this is a bad one. Criticola. Um. Uh, well, somewhat bad, somewhat good. I don't know. Um, you the um for each attack uh, that you get, it adds a mark for death def uh, debuff. So if you hit someone, they get mark for death. That's stupid. Uh, mark for death. Uh, is rem oh. Uh, so you can know, and when you uh, stop the Criticola, you no longer are marked for death. Um, 
and you uh, don't have a penalty for damage taken but your movement speed is gone so yay that's gonna be really annoying now because well um, they take it can take more damage they can well technically take more damage um, and they no longer are marked for death that's really bad Animation. I actually like this one. Um, triple jump is not only possible in Blast Boy, it's kind of bad, but they remove the self inflicted damage so you can triple jump without taking damage. I think that's really cool. Um, also, the attack speed penalty is gone, so they'll just hit it as fast as normal. Melee attacks done while aiming for mini crit, so it's so when you hit someone in midair, they'll get a mini crit. Um, Um, you also have a 50% deploy time penalty. Um, uh, reduce damage penalty versus players, so you get, um, you can do more damage. Uh, let's see, flying guillotine. Um, so you can no, so you no longer can crit to stun players, so that means that the, um, that means that the entirety of the Sam and Fly Guillotine combo is gone. Um, also, you can no longer mini crit at long range. Long range hits reduce recharge by. Ooh, okay, so um, you can uh, fire them off quickly, or more quickly, if you um, line them up. Uh, the base jumper. Remove an amount of air control while deployed by 50%, and you cannot redeploy the parachute once you're attracted, so you can't just um, base jump spam. Man treads, you have um, the 75% push force reduction now includes the air blast, so um, you get less of an air blast. 200% um, air control while in blast jumping, so um, you will get like way more air control when you're sticky jumping or rock jumping. Darwin stands your shield. Um, I do not understand this change. Um, they will move with increased survivability yet after burn immunity and fire resistance. What? It's, that's torture for pyros now. Alright, uh, Razorback, 100% uh, overheal penalty, so you basically can't get overhealed now, um, and the shield now recharges, which is a new thing. Um, Vitasaw, uh, let's see, so I th think that they might change the fact that you can preserve your uber charge, but I don't know. Um, organs, so on death, preserve 50%. Yeah, they're moving it. Um, but that's really cool because um, if you're really good at medic, you can um, gain up to 60% of it back. Um, added an organs collecting concept. So, um, all right. So hit someone with the saw, and you probably get maybe a new like entity pop out. That'd be cool. Or it, maybe it's just like immediately goes to it. I don't know. Um, Oh, shown on the HUD, okay, so, alright. Um, Crusader's Crossbow, uh, Ubercharge gain rate reduced in the way that the Metagun's healing based on this time. So, reduced by a third. So, that's, huh. Alright, all miniguns. One second damage accuracy penalty now applies to the first second of spin up time. So, um,. Alright, so, uh, if you wait for, like, so I guess if you start trying to immediately fire, um, you'll have a bad dam a damage penalty and accuracy. Um, yeah, wait, what? Alright, uh, the, they reset when the heavy sends down, so... If you stay on up beyond one second, fire and burst. Alright. Oh, okay, so you can like 
um, shoot and then stop, shoot and stop, and your damage and accuracy remain 100%. Alright, gloves are running urgently. Uh, Alright, <clears throat> max health is drained while item is active, so it's like the blood sauger, or at least the old blood sauger, and it's regeneratable holstered. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you get a regen when you're not wearing it, meaning that if you never use it, um, like in combat, but just have it, you'll have regen for the happy. Uh, and health will only will regenerate only amount drained. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. All right, all right. Each time the gloves are deployed, the drain rate is accelerated. So if you try to spam it, then yeah. But um, 25% damage already removed. That's pretty good. You can actually attack use it and the mark for death effect so it's somewhat viable now <sighs> it's like a blood soccer but when you attack you don't drain health or um yeah you don't drain health huh it's pretty cool all right uh eviction notice um eviction notice is the oh yeah right <laughs> uh max health is training while autumn is active and generated Okay, so it's essentially the same thing, um, except that they removed the damage vulnerability. Mm. This is steel. Uh, changes. So they added uh, overheal reduction, so you'll get less overheal. Uh, and they added a healing rate, rate penalty. Okay, so that means, I guess, that um, a this is steel medic combo um, will not works well. Oh, create the rescue ranger. All right, I hate this one because it now consumes metal. Why? Why? I hate this because the rescue ranger is um you like the rescue ranger right now, not like pre-update um is a like means of um like <sighs> storing it's a way to heal up your sentry without um, healing up the ammo and stuff. Like you can actually focus more on the um, you can focus on health and then um, recharge and stuff. So yeah, and it consumes metal. So just why? I mean, so repairing 60 damage is 15 metal, meaning that. Um, a full charge, uh, alright, hold on. Do -do 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 -do. Right. So, 216 divided by 60. So, 3.6 shots, so 4 will overheal. Alright, and times 15, if I'm correct. 54, great. 54, so 50 approximately. Almost 60. Dang, I should. I could have just done that in my head. Sorry. All right, so uh, almost um, 60 metal uh, will be used up. I mean, we already have the fact that it takes up a hundred metal if you um, do its alt fire, which will you know bring it back to you. So um, if you were like trying to actually rescue your sentry. Um, like you can only rescue one thing. You can't rescue like both your dispenser and your sentry somewhat. If like you're planning on shooting it with the rescue ranger, but I mean, um, you can reach your end. So never mind. That's stupid. All right, but anyways, yeah. So this is all the potential things. Um, what I don't understand though is this is the um, this is the pyro update. Where the heck is the pyro stuff? <laughs> um, so yeah. Um summary of like my feelings I kind of feel like this is pretty good it's somewhat it's mixed for the scout um, like I think the atomizer is good but the guillotine sandman bad uh, I just wish I did the soda popper because it's totally awesome and with engineer rescue ranger I'll miss the old rescue ranger because it's like you're preserving ammo for health only meaning that um, as far as I'm aware um, if you have less health on your sentry um, 
uh, it will like take more ammo until you actually get to the point where you can up start upgrading. So yeah, 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 that's it. Because you have to have all of your stuff, um, you have, have all of your stuff maxed out, your ammo and your health until you start upgrading again. So it's gonna be really bad for that. So um, yeah, and the base jumper. Why? I mean, they they said they were gonna buff it, not nerf it. Also. Criticola, it's gonna be a really bad thing in the battlefield after this. It's just gonna be a force to work with. Alright, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.